All right, so here we have Ivy, who's seven years old, and tell us a little bit about Ivy. Ivy is a California king snake. Um, she's actually owned by my uh, assistant, and she's really beautiful. Um, they're called king snakes because in the wild they tend to eat other snakes, so they are the king snake. Hmm. Um, in captivity, though, they they uh, are fed uh, rodents like other snakes. Live. Um, generally, we don't like to feed live rodents to snakes because they will bite them occasionally and mm -hmm. they can get wounded. So we want to at least stun or feed um, killed prey. And a lot of people have fears of snakes, including myself, and I'm really proud of myself for standing here, but she's really fine. She's, she's fine very with tame. She's handled a lot. I mean, you do have to be careful. Um, you want to make sure you don't starve a snake because they can become a little more aggressive when they're hungry, but in general, they're very calm and, and really to handle. Mm -hmm. And you said she's the king snake in the wild. What about in captivity? Can you have other snakes in the house? Um, you don't really want to mix the snake with other snakes because they do have a tendency to eat other snakes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can train them to eat rodents, and that's what we do. But again, not a great snake to mix with a bunch of other snakes. And what about if you have other animals in your house? Uh, you just have to be very careful that you keep her in her tank. And mm -hmm. you know, snakes in general, though you handle them, they're also a very visual pet. Yeah. What about with kids? Um, again, they're fine with kids as long as the kids are supervised. Mm -hmm. And an interesting thing about this snake or all snakes that they have no eyelids? They have no eyelids, they have no ears, um, they need to be misted when they're shedding, um, and um, you know they're just a little bit different, they're reptiles. Mm -hmm. And how often does she shed? Um, she'll shed every few months um, and when she's shedding she needs extra humidity to help all that skin peel off, but mm -hmm. you can see how beautiful she is, the beautiful skin underneath. And what kind of container would you keep her in? Um, she needs an aquarium um, with some paper bedding in the bottom, and she needs a temperature gradient so that in one end it's warmer, up in the 90s, the, and the other end it's in the low 70s, so she can adjust her body temperature according to her environment. All right, thanks for bringing Ivy by. Thank you.